What's up guys, uh, JD here, and I'm going to show you guys today something a little different. I figured, uh, since I've been slacking so much, I'm trying to do more videos and whatnot. So, today, instead of just showing you guys a collection, or, you know, just going over one shoe, I figured I'd just show you guys all my samples and unreleased pairs that I have. Um, there's stuff from Asics to Air Max Dunks, I even have one New Balance, so. Um, we'll get into that, we'll start with Asics. Uh, first I want to start with these. This is the Green Monster. This is a final production sample. There's absolutely no difference between this one and the one that released besides the fact that it says sample on the tag and, uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says sample on the tag and the, it has little like sample hang tags that come on it, but they're, I have those in the box. Um, along the same lines, this is the 24 Kaladis Gel Light Speed. And if you see on the insole, it has a sample sticker there and the tag is a sample. But again, this is final production sample, looks exactly like the one that released to the public. So not much difference there, but this is a, a sample of this one. So um, see the brown suede is different, obviously. Um, has sample on the insole sticker. And I've worn everything in this video, so um, I don't really care about keeping my shoes clean, honestly. I just want to wear everything. Um, but yeah, these are cool. Uh, I believe there's five of these from what the store owner from 24 Claudius told me. There's maybe five of those, so that's kind of cool. Next, we move into this uh, yellow A Life sample, also sample tag. Um, it was worn when I bought it, but I've really worn this thing into the ground. Like, <laughs> if you can tell, it's really dirty and creased, and but I love this shoe. It's, the materials are really cool. And uh, on this, on the like tongue area, it's got stuff embossed into it. And from what I was told when I bought these, these are one of one. So that's just kind of cool. That kind of thing always gets me. <laughs> then we have a uh, Slam Jam sample. This is like a pre-production sample. Obviously, the ones that released look nothing like this. Well, I take that back. They look somewhat like this. And these are another one. They were worn when I got them, but I really really done a number on these and you can see the sample tag on there as well. Um, just kind of cool. Uh, most people seem to like the, the release version better. I, I honestly don't mind this one. I think this one's pretty cool. And I paid way under what the release version goes for for these, so I'm pretty happy for the, with that. Um, getting into, we'll do some dunks. We have the uh, Haze Dunk Low. This is another one that I've just run into the ground. But uh, this is the Hyper Strike version, not the one that released to everybody. This is the one with haze on the tongue, and it has the haze box and everything. I, I didn't want to bring the boxes out, but yeah, just haze dunk. And we have the Deftones. I really, 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 really love this shoe. This is one of my favorite dunks, and uh, I've gotten rid of most of my dunks. So for everybody that's been following me for a long time, I, I don't have most of the dunks that I used to have. Um, I kept this one and what the dunks would be like, my high-end dunks that I kept, I guess. But this is one that I just, I don't ever see myself letting go of. I love this thing. Um, and the other dunk was this, I've had these for a long time, but the undefeated, no, wow, don't, don't pay attention to that, not undefeated. Um, these are a tuxedo made in the Innovation Kitchen. The other one has the Innovation Kitchen logo stitched in, or lasered in, and it's all lasered. The swoosh is lasered in, the toe cap is lasered, this back panel here is lasered, and it has a laser pack insole, and yeah, I believe they made 82 of these. Someone correct me if you know more, but that's what the numbers I was told. Um, get into this New Balance, Purple Double sample, Purple Double 1500. This is my favorite 1500, the Purple Double, and just, uh, I actually don't have a release pair. I ended up with a sample, so I can't really complain about that. I love this shoe. Um, yeah, it's just kind of crazy how, how getting this shoe happened, and I've contacted the owner of the store, and he verified that this was one of their samples, so I'm just really happy to have this thing. Um, getting into some Air Max, they have the Homegrown Hyper Strike, the orange one. Everybody, Most people are familiar with the green one, which is where the colors are flipped. Um, you have green everywhere and orange on the inside. This is the flip, obviously. Um, and you have States Magazine. This is just a really cool shoe. Quality is great. 
it's on par with the homegrown, the with the green homegrown, but I just really, really like the colorway on this, having mostly orange, some banging doors and stuff upstairs. Um, we have the Nom de Guerre 180. It's kind of obscure and hard to find anything really on it. There was 50 of these made uh, for the store Nom de Guerre in New York. Um, they weren't around for very long, but it's a really cool colorway and the laces, if you can see the laces, they have Nanda Gear written all over them. But yeah, it's it's kind of an obscure release, but I, I really, really like the way these look. And on feet, they look crazy. Uh, moving into the last three here, we have uh, the Dizzy Rascal 180. Everybody's familiar with the Dizzy Rascal Air Max 90. But he has this 180 and then the one I'm going to show next. But you have Dizzy Rascal stitched in on the back. The laces are crazy. The color placement is crazy. And then Dirty Stank Records on the tongue. Everybody always makes fun of that, but I mean, it's it's his label, so can't really complain. And then the white one, which is the lesser known of the two, which, again, cool materials. Um, this is a dirt magnet, though. Like, this, this like, felty stuff, it's dirty so easy. Again, dirty stank on the tongue, the, the laces with, like, the interwoven stuff, and the Dizzy Rascal stitched on the back. Um, I have the 90 also. The only thing I really want to get as far as all the other Dizzy Rascal stuff is the Air Force One, which is, I, I doubt I'm ever going to find one for sale. But the final thing I have is actually a Jordan. I have the m and 4. For those of you that have been following me on Instagram or anything really, I've, I've always been, I mean, I've been consistently picking up all the m and stuff. I have all eight of the Air Maxes. Uh, pretty much the only thing I need right now is a Jordan 2. Uh, so if anybody has a Jordan 2, I don't even care what size or condition, I just want whatever's cheapest, just to complete the set, but, um, yeah, Jordan 4 with M&M stitched on the back, or stitched on the back of the tongue, Encore stitched on the back tab, it's a really cool shoe, this is another one that I've worn pretty heavily since I got it, and I'm just really thankful to have it, uh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video, um, Hopefully this isn't too boring. I just wanted to bring a little more into it. More exciting stuff to look at at least. But anyway, let me know what you guys think below and what other kind of stuff you'd like to see. Um, other than that, rate, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys later.